I see a lot of people in chat talking about uh, getting major Endwalker vibes from how they're talking about this now. Which is interesting that they're talking about this being the end of, you know, the the book one of the Warcraft saga. Not whatever book of the Warcraft saga it was. Oh, fuck. Well, that's... <laughs> no, th this is the end of... <sighs> this is not the end of book one of the Warcraft saga. No way. No. It couldn't be. It couldn't be. Mm. This is the end of the Shadowlands storyline that was heavily set up. You know, that had death things be teased in Legion and then was more heavily set up in Battle for Azeroth. In a way... Mm. That basically meant that Battle for Azeroth wasn't really that much about the Battle for Azeroth, and we never really got a satisfying faction. Well, we didn't get anything satisfying in Battle for Azeroth because they've yeah. just flitted between so many things. Now, uh, I mean, th th like this is connections to Wrath, but yeah, I don't know. That feels mm. like they're retroactively trying to reframe this as a marketing bait, but I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, that's that doesn't feel is. right to me, and I would certainly say that knowing that Shadowlands is a controversial expansion, I think it's an unwise move to frame... Yes, it's an unwise move to frame the things that people liked in the past, <laughs> uh, you know, so so much as only be, being with Shadowlands, I suppose. Um Interesting. I mean, the one really good bit of news from all of this, though, is it seems like the next expansion is going back to Azeroth. That is, you know, they have everything but said that. They have said yeah. everything they possibly can around that without actually physically saying it, which is they have. good, but I only have one. Obviously, you know, you, you can't criticize literally everything they do because then that's being unfair. But the one fear I have there is, depends on how their internal processes work and how much time they need for an expansion. Because if, they're, if they didn't already want to go back to Shadowlands, or sorry, go back to Azeroth, and they're going back to Azeroth now, after all this feedback from 9.1, then that means we'll have an alpha of an expansion that has, you know, eight months of consideration while they're also making 9.2, mm. or nine months, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe 10 if it's a bit later, which I don't know if I would trust that to be enough time for an expansion development that's completely like you know they've thrown out everything else and they're just going okay azeroth that's one small concern i have but obviously it's almost utterly mer meritless as an assumption until they unless i know what they're thinking which yeah. you know as much as i like to think i'm following their uh, train of thought i don't definitely sometimes i'm not incidentally the guard is the last boss of the burial site of the original being raid if the guard is finally defeated, the final curtain of the Shadowlands story will come to the end. Oh God. Reality is a first no. one above the first one. No, there ones. really is a first one above the first one. Oh no, don't tell me there's the firstest one. Oh, come on yeah. now. Oh well, it could be the... The, the first first one. Yeah, or, or the last first one. Or the last first one. <laughs> yes, true, true. Oh, um, no. Here's a good thing from Squishy, actually, mm -hmm. who... Um, uh, yeah, you know, it works with yeah. Wowhead. Just said, why does Blizzard reveal everything systems related in a bunch of different interviews rather than announcing it themselves? Yeah, because they have because they if they announce it themselves, they get sh shot at. <laughs> well, no, it's like it would be really good to have these just be less fragmented. So that's that's an interesting point. But at the same time, you could argue that them, you know, giving little seeds of stuff out to different fan sites and stuff websites is well, if we're fan sites, sure. If it was mainstream websites, I disagree. But hey, here's a load of. Uh, Here's a look. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly it. We do we can, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's, it feels bad from perspective, but also, I mean, like, Gamer Brave probably got more traffic than it has this year from that, judging by its website. That fell over, Falling yeah. over. So I think that's that's good enough, I think. Also, that is a very good question. Where was Ian? Probably, given that this was a very art and story uh, and not a very systems-driven oh. thing, I think that's why, you know, um, I think that's why it was more Steve and the Artists. Yeah, they'll, they'll wheel him out for the PTR um, stuff, likely. Yeah, I, I'd imagine so. Yeah, so, uh, man, I suppose that's that. Uh, patch 9.2 of World of Warcraft, Eternity's End. Um, yep. Patch 9.2, Eternity's End. Hmm. I think that's, that's what it is. I don't know if we're going to hear a, a massive amount else here. I mean, uh, solo queue, that's that's an interesting thing. Two Legos, combine that with tier sets, and I think you're going to start to have some very fun gameplay. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, there's every chance this is a very cool raid, and if they're able to fix up the storytelling things, which, you know, it's they haven't talked about doing the story differently, but they 
have talked about doing the story in a way where when we read it, we think it's being done differently. Yeah. So I suppose... I don't need these anymore. Nope. <laughs> I suppose... Uh, yeah. You know, it, it might not exactly be the setting that we all like the most or the story we like the most, but if they're going to commit a bit harder to telling that story, I mean, that is a good thing. Mm. That is a good thing. So, yeah, I wonder, what, what does everyone think? What's um, I haven't been looking at chat that much, uh, Matt, so what's... Uh, uh, what are people so thinking here? It's, you know, it's hard to get a general gist of what all of you people are thinking because you're typing like uh, very passionate people in different directions. <laughs> but a lot of it just seems to be the where was this, where was that, where was this, where was that. Not all of the detail that we've wanted is here. People still have more questions than they have answers. Mm. And I haven't seen a lot of people who are very excited I've seen, you know, ah, yeah, the design's pretty good, and uh, yes, I'll notice you, Larry Pope, but there's a lot of stuff, and like, yeah, here you go, well, there's, you know, we hit it, uh, still junk, better luck at 10, uh, still excited for Endwalker, well, yeah, I mean, fair enough, uh, not coming back, and 2 out of 10, not impressed, not gonna lie, time getting NPC dialogue, what was the dread moment, what hit the Arbiter, that's a good question. Yeah, so generally, I don't think people are too, too up on it, generally. But, you know, good direction, still super depressing. I think that's that's kind of it. And yeah, I did look at the bingo card. There is no bingo. No bingo. There were a decent couple, but they were staggered. There's no bingo. No bingo, sadly. But that is... Um, interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll say, like, so here's my first impression, right? Here's my first impression, patch 9.2. Um, narratively, it is continuing a story that I have definitely struggled with. Um, the new zone looks really cool. The art is gorgeous. The creatures are really cool. Conceptually, elements of it are quite neat. You're having like version 0 0.1 of, you know, the Primus or whatever. Like that, that's a kind of a cool idea. Yeah. Um, it also makes us sort of think about those big characters in a slightly different way as well. So I think that there's a high chance this could be, you know, I mean, maybe almost certainly... It will be the best Shadowlands will ever be. Mm. We will have our gameplay in the best state because the power creep will have happened we'll, and we'll have more toys. Yes. So, and we'll have all those covenant restrictions and things mm. gone. So I think the gameplay will be the best place it can be. I think the art and all of that is really, really nice. And to me, it's really, really good to hear narratively that they, they seem to be taking their time. They mm -hmm. seem to be trying to do more narrative in this patch. So overall to me... It seems like it is as good as a final patch to Shadowlands could be, assuming mm. it is staying in the Shadowlands. I do think that, uh, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think if you were to go and do like the Northrend patch idea that I had, I think you would probably have more people be excited because it would be more rooted in characters, locations, and things that they care about. Um, but clearly they want to spend a lot more time uh, building out the cosmology. So I think for a patch that is doing that, this is probably shaping up to be as, as good as you could really expect from that. So for some players, I think this is going to be extremely exciting uh, because of that lore. Mm. Um, I think for some other players, you know, they may be thinking, okay, this patch isn't for me, but perhaps they're happy that it seems they're going to Azeroth after this one. Yeah, so I think that's likely their, their general approach. And I think it's it's interesting. They don't quite seem to... Well, they definitely missed a mark by not using this patch to bring us home. Yes. Just because that would be a satisfying and a nice lead, whereas now we're kind of just going and 10.0 will just have a snap back to whatever we're doing back there. Well, it could, it could be established nicely. in the epilogue of this patch. Yeah, but is, if this is the last major content, then what does minor story content look like? And is that going to be enough to establish in terms of if they don't give their major story beats enough time, what are they going to do with their minor story beats? That's not going to give them enough time to go forward. So I think they've kind of missed a little, little bit of that. But the, the important thing to remember is a lot of the gameplay changes that people want to see out of the game will be definitely 10.0 stuff because yes. there's a lot I think needs to change for the, like, you know, in terms of like, hey, here's some really engaging gameplay from single-player content, solo content, here's 
more engaging changes to how we do dungeons here's how we've like revamped our production pipeline to get more stuff out for you we'll not feel that until 10.0 if we do feel it obviously there's no there's no guarantee of that yeah but it's just interesting that um they've went so hard with no this is we are putting all our eggs in this art and story basket for now ptr all of gameplay it'd be nice if they'd ah, it's a case where when they don't say anything we get afraid Yes, I, I sometimes yeah, sometimes so yeah. They would need to be doing better of going. Okay, here's here are all of your concerns addressed very quickly, but they do suffer from, you know, not being this super candid company. They do have to suffer from marketing. They do have to go well. You know, it's not like like <laughs> I'm sure Ian could say, listen, we're going to go and sit down with the players for three hours and talk about everything that they want to talk about. I'm sure he would be vetoed by everyone. And they'll be like, no, that goes against all of how marketing works. And Do you that, remember that last time that? you talked to Preach? <laughs> never heard the end of that. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I think yeah. people just want a little bit more. I guess the other thing is um, there is an encrypted build of patch 9.2 on the PTR. Yeah, we'll get PTR next week, CDN. I think. So, yeah, PTR will be Do soon enough. Um, yeah. I guess that is actually a, a, an exciting thing. Because yeah. they were probably doing this, you know, in uh, sort of ahead of a PTR happening. So I imagine PTR pretty soon. Yeah. Um, and we can actually start to get a look at all this stuff. Yep. And that's when it will really start to shape up in our heads and we can really understand what we're dealing with here. Hmm. So yep. that's that. Okay, that's that. Right. Yep. Before we go, I have one thing to say. Oh. And this is going to be really, really... <laughs> I, I think people might consider me a traitor for this just because I think it's a funny joke. They're adding the dance studio, or the dance minigame, sorry, and the dance minigame to Dark Moon Fair. So, uh, in one patch, they have taken the essence of FF14 rating and adding it, added it as a minigame. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't um, mean that, by the way. That's a joke. <laughs> so, um, this is us talking about the studio, everything that we're doing. Um, yeah, right. So, I mean, shit, man, if you want to help us out, uh, you know, share, spread the word. We would really, really appreciate it. Um, there's our introduction video. There is uh, the trailer for the game as well. And if you want a little bit more background on the Bellular Warcraft, which is this channel, on this channel, and on um, Bellular Gaming, which is our general MMO, very skewing to FF currently, uh, yep. channel, then there are two videos there as well. Yep. It's been very busy lately. <laughs> well, I think... Uh, oh, there's a congratulations from Zach Roar in chat. Oh, Zach! Hey, man! Yep. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, fuck me. <laughs> it's been... Yeah? Oh, dear, it's been back, back to the days when I remember it was uh, me, Zach, and Heel versus Babyface doing, oh, um, the days. <laughs> doing, a, doing a podcast during Warlords of Draenor, partially in store mounts. <laughs> so, fuck, that was a long time ago, man. Uh, yeah, more things change than where they stay the same. Yeah, yeah, hmm. indeed. So, um... Yep. I mean, shit, man, it's been busy times, but uh, yeah, no, yeah. there's there's us. It's been a bit of a surreal day if you want to help us out and uh, be yeah. able to say, hello, publisher, look, we have wish lists now. Have I been a good boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on for us. And uh, there will be more content over time I'm yeah. on that channel as well. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so I guess I guess a, qu a quick message, to, a quick message to Zach while he's here. That's take look pretty okay. Good job. Mistake, yes. Yeah, mistake, yeah. <laughs>